वेलकम टू छुट्टी मित्रन इन टूडे इस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डिविजिबिलिटी रूल्स आवर एजेंडा फॉर टूडे इस वीडियो वुड बी व्हाट आर डिविजिबिलिटी रूल्स एंड इट टिप्स टू कंसीडर आई विल शो यू अ मेथड दैट यू कैन यूज टू फाइंड वेदर अ नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय नंबर विदाउट यूजिंग द डिविजन प्रोसेस मेथड Okay before we start our session let's see what are divisibility rules the number considered to be divided by another number when the quotient is whole number and the remainder is zero is known as division consider two natural numbers a and b when a is divided by b if remainder of zero is obtained then we say that a is divisible by b a divisibility rule helps us to quickly identify whether the given number is divisible without actually performing the division process okay now let's see the divisibility rule for number 2 and number 3 when we are finding the test of divisibility by 2 then Remember this in mind a number is divisible by 2 if the unit number is divisible by 2 in other words if the number is an even number then it is definitely divisible by 2 let's take 476 you do not need to keep an eye on the hundreds and the tens place just keep an eye on the ones place in the ones place the number is 6 and 6 is an even number so 476 is divisible by 2 what about 628 yes 8 is an even number so this can be divided by 2 also but then what about 35 well 5 is an odd number so 35 cannot be divided by 2 now let's see the tests of divisibility by 3 a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits are divisible by 3 for example let's take the number 36 what do we naturally do we divide 36 by 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 3 and you write another 2 which is 12 but you do not need to do all these complex steps you can simply add 3 plus 6 which is 9 and when you divide 9 by 3 the answer is 3 and as 3 is a whole number and there are no remainders 36 is divisible by 3 what about 69 for 69 we can add 6 plus 9 which is 15 15 divided by 3 is 5 and even in this case there are no remainders so we can tell that 69 is divisible by 3 but what about 62 well we add 6 plus 2 which is 8 8 divided by 3 is 2 and the remainder is 2 again so there are remainders and if there are remainders this means that 62 is not divisible by 3 okay now let's see the divisibility rule for number 4 and number 5 let's take 3152 a number is divisible by 4 if the numbers from last two digits in other words tens and unit digits are divisible by 4 3152 now let's take 52 we do not need to care about the thousands and the hundreds place no matter how big the number is when you are trying to find the divisibility tests of number 4 just focus on the tens and unit digits For three thousand one hundred and fifty-two, the value is fifty-two. Fifty-two divided by four. Oops, sorry about that. Fifty-two divided by four is thirteen. So three thousand one hundred and fifty-two is divisible by four. What about two thousand two hundred and fifty-six? Well, here again, the answer is fifty-six. So it is divisible by four. so this is also divisible by 4 what about 4770 well the last two digits tens and unit digits for 4770 is 70 70 divided by 4 you write a 1 1 multiplied by 4 is 4 7 minus 4 
is 3, 0. And you write another 7. 7 multiplied by 4 is 28. So you write a 2. So the answer is 17, remainder 2. And as there are remainders, 4,770 is not divisible by 4. Okay, now let's see the test of divisibility of 5. A number is divisible by 5 if its unit digit is either 0 or 5. In the case of 340, we can easily tell that it is divisible by 5 because the unit's digit is 0. In the case of 795, the unit's digit is 5. But in the case of 66, the unit's digit is neither 0 or 5. So 66 is not divisible by 5. So thank you friends for watching the video till the end. I will be visiting you with more videos on tests of divisibility 2.0. So stay tuned for that as well. Until then, goodbye friends. Thank you for watching our Chutimitran videos friends. If you like our video, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get immediate notification on our new videos. If you like our video, please do share your valuable comments in the comment box below. Thank you and have a great day friends.